Hey everyone, this is Daniel, um, and in this video I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the branching feature in Forms. So what I've done is I've already built a form over here, um, and I'll just walk you through that real quick. Um, so what I did was I built a food survey, um, and I've gone ahead and put in some of these questions. Um, questions is to ask you what your age is, what is your priority when you're eating, things such as do you prefer taste and nutrition, nutrition and pricing, so on and so forth. Um, and then I've also gone ahead and put in food choices. So are you a vegan, vegetarian, or do you do a gluten and dairy free diet? Um, but here's what I want to make it a little bit more dynamic. Um, I'm fine with question one and two, but based on what you select over here on the third question, it needs to jump to the next question. Um, so for example, if you selected your food choices vegan, I want you to jump straight to option number four or question number four. If you select uh, gluten and dairy free, then it needs to skip four and five and jump straight to six. However, after whichever one you've selected, which is either the four, five, and six, it should straight go to comments. Um, now there is this little hidden gem over here, and it's called branching. So let's let's see how it works. Um, age is fine. The first question is fine because after, regardless of what you pick, I want you to go to the second question over here. And that's, that's the beauty of this branching options because I can now make uh, choices or conditions right down to the choices that I've selected over here. So on the first question, regardless of what age you pick, I'm fine if it goes to the next question, so I'll leave that as it is. On the second one, um, regardless of which choice that you pick over here, I still want you to go to the next question, so I'll leave that as it is. Now here's where I'm going to start making it uh, a little bit dynamic. So um, now if I select vegan over here, I'm going to make it so that it goes straight to question number four. And that's what I'll do. Over here, if I've selected vegetarian, then I'm going to jump to question number five. On the gluten and dairy free, if I select that, that needs to go to question number six. Now over here, in the remaining questions, what I want to do is after I've completed either one of these, I want to jump straight to the comments. So that's what I'll do. Jump straight to the comments. Same thing over here. Um, after I'm done asking these questions, I want to jump straight to comments. So that's what I'll do. Finally, the same thing on the last question, which is options for gluten dairy free. Again, done. Over here, jump to comments. 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 And then after that, it, it is the comments. So let's go back. And let's do a test. So a uh, food survey, say I'm going to go ahead and put in my age as 40 plus. What is my priority? It's both the taste and the nutrition. I'll do that. And then my food choices, say I'm going to put that as a gluten and dairy free. Now I straight away jumped to options for gluten and dairy free. Now, if you've noticed something, the numerical value is just one plus the previous one. Um, now, if you remember, we were building the form. This was way, I think, numerical value number six or seven, um, but it's very dynamic over here. So even if I select a vegetarian, um, the next value of the number is again four. So let me just do gluten and dairy free. Um, I'll go ahead and say not 100% accurate or it's very limited. Question of comments comes up and I'll say, um, yeah, limited. So basically, this is what I wanted to demo is that this neat functionality uh, of branching is, is kind of hidden. That's what I call it, the hidden gems. But with that, you are able to make your form a lot more dynamic. Then remember that in um, forms, you can you do have the option to make this anonymous. Um, you can actually go to settings and you can say anyone with the link can respond. So with that, you pretty much can use the forms to just hand it over to some of the people in the public. Uh, where authentication or anonymous authentication isn't a problem, um, and you can pretty much have this nice branching functionality. Thanks.